Department of just released a new EP. And a lot of you have been asking to give a studio tour. Well, really, that's bullshit. No one's been asking. But I love how all these studio tour videos start with that. Uh, anyways, I did think I would do my own video just to kind of show you what I got going here. Uh, most of what I've done, I've done myself. I built out this entire room myself. Um, it, this is pretty much like the third version of it over the past like 10 or so years. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you some of the stuff that I built and modified and made my own to work with my own workflow. And uh, maybe you'll get some ideas from some of it. We'll find out. So off we go. All right, so let's start with the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. Uh, I built this desk out of the sides are like three quarter inch pine. Uh, the top supports a two by four. The back is just three quarter plywood painted all brown. Um, the countertop is just like an MDF cheap countertop that I got at Home Depot. Uh, the monitor stands are just a uh, simple two by four with, uh, I don't know, I think that's like half inch pine and then some old tabletops that I had cut off. And those are just literally screwed right to the side of the table. Um, and I also got this like foam here, the stick on foam. Oh, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, for monitors, I'm using uh, V8, or I'm sorry, KRK V8s. Um, these are the second gens. I picked these up used in like 2008. Uh, for monitor control, I have a big knob, which I use literally just for the volume pretty much and the mute and dim function. Uh, and then on top of that, I just have the Behringer, uh, whatever that's called for uh, <laughs> headphones. Um, I got to figure out a better way to attach this because the Velcro, actually that's dual lock, the cables pull it back. Uh, but I built this little thing to kind of house everything together. Nothing's attached, it just slides over it. You know, it's just kind of cool and makes it a little bit more organized. Um, that's just like a 32 inch TV monitor. Uh, over here for the rack, I have, again, it's like three quarter inch pine that I just built, painted brown, uh, attached the rack ears to. Uh, that's a Focusrite 18i20 I just got. That's a little XLR patch bay that someone helped me build years back. Um, it basically just makes it so I can get in and out of the back inputs easily. And you can see I'm not using those TRS throughs at all. And then down here, it's just all the power. I got everything pretty much set to switches. A um, couple external hard drives and some Dell. I don't even know what it's running, but we can talk about that more later. Now, the main purpose of that interface is so I can track drums. Um, so I have all these, uh, I got about, I have seven inputs on here. Um, for overheads, I'm using MXL 603s. They are fine and dandy. Um, on the kick, I have a D6 pointed slightly off axis, off axis right, pretty much at the meter. Um, these are Sennheiser E602s. Oh no, I'm sorry, E604s uh, for that. Um, for our snare, uh, we have a SM57. And basically what all of this my setup looks like um, I'm not really gonna get all in depth with the symbols and how everything is set up but and heads or any of that but that's what the drum kit looks like uh, but while I'm sitting here tracking I have a little table that I have a fan and uh, another separate uh, headphone amp and then all those everything's plugged into this snake here which runs onto the other side of the wall and then all the way back over to where my interface is. Uh, that really helps clean up some of that cable clutter. In addition, I run a separate monitor that I can uh, obviously be able to run my projects with. And I basically just bring my wireless mouse over and set it up uh, right there. Um, so basically on that snake, I have the seven inputs and then I'm using one return for a headphone return. And this is the most heavily treated part of my studio. Um, I used unfaced OC703 and kind of just built out these frames. Uh, nothing fancy. It's literally just screwed straight in uh, and some nails. Nothing fancy. 
uh, for the top. Uh, I'm using everything as two inch uh, OC703 uh, for the base traps. Anything that we have in the corner, it is uh, doubled up. So four inches and then with the airspace all behind it. Um, for anything that's flat on the wall or ceiling for the cloud, uh, that's all just broadband. So it's two inch with a basically two inch air gap behind everything. Uh, I have the treatment throughout the entire studio basically. I just kind of have like one big base trap along this wall. Uh, and then I have one on that corner and another one over here. I know the desk isn't centered, but oh well, this is a project studio. I'm not trying to make million dollar Grammy hits up in here. And I have some other uh, treatment placed throughout. I mean, the basic idea with the treatment in this room is just to control a little bit. This is a very small room. It's about 16 feet by 10 feet by six and a half feet tall. And you can see, I mean, here there's literally no, there's no room. So this is actually probably closer to less than six feet because I have a little riser here and then I have a cloud above it. So I need some of this treatment in here to just try to control a little bit of what's going on uh, with the sound waves. My guitar rig is here. This is kind of the other half of what I do. You can see I have a bass there, but I'm not really a bass player. I just kind of play it out of necessity. Uh, for my guitar, I have a, I think this is a, this is a 2014 uh, traditional pro. And for my pedal board, I'm running in front of the amp is literally just the EP booster. And then in the loop, I have the Flint, the Afterneath, Avalanche Run, Loop Station, and then the uh, Channel Switcher for the, for the Mesa. Then the amp, I'm running a Mesa Mark 525. Um, this is pretty much how my settings always are. Um, usually, this, these set, right now I have everything set on 10 watts for just kind of screwing around playing in the room. Uh, when I record, I usually pump it up to 25 just so I get a little bit more uh, headroom out of it. And then for the cabinet, it's just an orange uh, PPC 2x12 with uh, vintage 30s. And then I'm miking it. Uh, with another 57. One thing that's really important to me is organization. So for, I have everything pretty well, relatively organized. This is actually just a catch-all with a bunch of crap in it. Uh, but in here, I have some drum stuff, a shaker, there's another one in there. Um, so I keep like strings and stuff like that, a couple extra tubes. And then these are all like random like batteries and connectors and crap. I don't really go in there too much. Uh, up here, I have various cables. Uh, on this side, I keep all my XLR cables. Oh, it looks like there's some mix of everything in there. Guess it's not as organized as I thought. And over here, just basically uh, guitar cables. And then this is also where I store all my CDs. You remember those? Holy shit. I actually still burn CDs and listen to them in my car. Uh, this is uh, some kind of Fender amp that my buddy let me borrow a couple years ago. Doesn't get used too much. So over here, it's just like looks like a random mix of stuff. It's like I have another headphone amp in here. A bunch of random cables and stuff. Who knows? And this side looks like some more random cables, some bass strings, random drum stuff, guitar picks. Uh, this is another mic. This is just an AT2020. Then inside here, it's just a little guitar cleaning maintenance kit. Nothing crazy. And then a lamp. Let's see, back on this side, I have some other random stuff floating about. Um, this is a Blackstar HT5. My buddy let me borrow a while ago. And what I did was I used this pedal board, which is just kind of a secondary. I don't really use it too much. Uh, but we have the ABY, the RAT. This is a, some kind of trem Chinese thing. This is a Klon um, Golden Horse. I think I got this for like 16 or 17 bucks straight from China. And then the Vibra clone. Uh, but the idea of, with borrowing my buddy's amp is I, I uh, put my guitar to the ABY and then I ran this pedal board through that Black Star. And then I ran two separate uh, trem settings and then mic'd each amp separately to kind of get this cool stereo effect going. Inside here I have a set of bells, and then over here we have another 
you know, an acoustic. And then for the grand finale, this is the most amazing part of my studio. Wait till you see this. The place where you poop and pee. Wow. So that's it. You poop and you pee and you walk out and then you're back in the studio. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed looking at this place that I live my life in. Good luck with your life though.